Hello people, today we are going to know about a new module and that is Marketplace DHL Shipping for Magento 2. Now this particular shipping method provides DHL shipping services for the shipment of the product. Now this shipping method is the most trusted shipping method in terms of cost product delivery and now it is available with Webcool Magento 2 Marketplace. Now coming to the installation of this module. Once you have downloaded the module from our store, then it is in the zip format. You have to unzip it and then click on the module folder. You will be getting the SRC folder. Just click on the SRC folder, you will be getting the app folder. Just upload the app folder into your Magento 2 root directory and then you are done with the installation part. For the clear information about the installation, you can just refer to the user guide as well. Now coming to the configuration part. Now this is my admin panel. You just have to follow the path. Go to stores, configuration. And then under the sales tab, go to the shipping methods. Now after the successful installation of the shipping module, you will be having Webcool Marketplace Digital Shipping. Just enable it for the checkout. Activate the sandbox if you're using in the testing phase. You just have to enter the title, the URL, access ID, password, account number, content type. You have to just enter the details as per your requirement, ready time. Then this is display custom logo on DHL level. If you have set it, yes, then you can just upload a logo. So I will just upload this logo and it will be appearing on my DHL level and then allow seller to display company logo on DHL level and the rest are the details and then you have to save the configuration. Now there is a setting allow seller to save DHL details. If this is set yes, then the seller from the seller panel can enter access ID, password, account number as well. And if it is set as no, then they cannot enter. And if it is set as yes, and the seller doesn't have these details, then the system will take default admins value. So you don't have to worry whether the seller is having or not. But this is the feature we have provided for our sellers. So now let's move to the seller panel. Now this is my seller panel. First, we will go to this menu, Manage Print PDF Header Info. Here the seller can enter the details regarding the address, VAT, tags and other information and it will appear on the right top hand side of invoice and packing slip. So I have entered the, our con company address and you just have, I can just enter phone number and tax number. And I will save this. Now it is saved. Now we will see by placing an order. So I will just go through this product handbag. Now this is my product page. I will just click here so that I can add this product into the cart. And we can proceed to the checkout directly. Now we are being directed to the checkout page. On the right hand side, you can see the order summary, like you can see the product, its quantity and the price. So from here, I will select the shipping address and based on this, shipping methods will appear. You can see the various DHL shipping methods that is Express Worldwide, Express 12, Express Easy. So I will select this based on my requirement and I will click on next. Now we have to select the payment method. So I will select check and money order. And you can see your order summary. 
and you can place the order. After placing the order, you can see the order number 185. So we will go to the account. From here, we will be going to my order history. You can see the order status as pending. So we will just view the order. Now you can see the shipping address, the shipping method, billing address, and the payment method that is check or money order. So first we will create the invoice after receiving the payment. So now the invoice is being created. You can see the invoice has been created and the order status is processing now. So now we will create the shipment. So here is a checkbox, checkbox, sorry, generate DHL level. So I will just click here and then you don't have to enter the tracking number manually. It will get the tracking number by API. So after checking this box, I will click on ship. Now you can see the shipment has been created, invoice has been created, the order status is complete. You can see the invoice and the shipment. So now let's proceed to see invoice. So you can see the status paid. This is the buyer and order information, order status complete, order date, buyer information, billing address, Shipping address, shipping method, payment method, order invoiced. This is the product name. So I will just click here. So this is my invoice slip. So this is the logo. This is the seller company logo. This is the detail which we just saved. And this is the invoice number, order number. And these are the shipping and buying details. And you can see the product SQ price, total price, shipping and handling cost. Now coming to the shipment. So again, we will just go to this. And now we will go to the shipment. Now this is my shipment. You can see the DHL shipment slip, print shipment. And you can see the tracking number, which has been fetched by API. So we will first see the shipment slip of DHL. Now this is my DHL slip. You can see this custom logo. We have uploaded it from the admin panel. So it is displayed here. And this is from, and this is the address. So this is the shipment slip. Now we will see print shipment. You can see the packing slip number, billing, shipping. You can see the tracking number, the method, product, its quantity, and SQ. So this is all about this particular module. If you have any doubt regarding this module, you can just raise a support ticket at support at